Hi, welcome to a new session on representing real numbers on the number line. In this session, we are going to discuss about the real numbers and their representation, how they are represented on the number line. We have some numbers, we have been having some number. So, how to represent all these numbers? How? So, what is the way of representing them on the number line? So, to represent them and uh, before starting, let me tell you what the benefit of representation is. For example, in, uh, in a geography, we know we have some maps. Now, what is maps are? They are the pictorial pictorial representation of the places. If I will have the map of your city, if you are just seeing the map of your city, you can locate your house, you can locate your playground, you can locate your school, you can locate your father's office, everything you can locate there. And it's a pictorial representation. So, how to represent that? And what is the gap between two distances? We had to take some gap. So, we had to analyze it, we had to put it. So, how, how to? So, this is the again in real numbers, they will be represented on the number line. So, if this is a number, let us say I had to represent 2.3. So, 2.3 can be written as 2 plus 0 0.3 or it can be taken as 2 plus 3 by 10. Yani ki third, this is nothing, this is third. 3 part, you can say 3 part of 10. If there is a gap between, if for this is a number line, and in this number line, if this is 1, this is having 2, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, and this is 3. This is 3. Now, this 3, what is happening here is, 3 by 10, that means out of this, parts, this is first part, so this is 1 by 3, this is second part, 2 by 3, this is oh, 1 by 10, this is 2 by 10, this is 3 by 10, this is 4 by 10, 5 by 10, this is 6 by 10, 7 by 10, okay, or 8 by 10, 9 and this comes to be 9 by 10 and it comes to be 3 or 10 by 10. Third part that means total it comes to be. So, this is 2 plus 1 by 10th part of what I have to take it I have to take the 3 part of this. So, this point represent 2 is representing up to this then I have add this segment 1 by 10 uh, 3 by 10 so, it becomes 2.3. So, the re pictorial representation on the number line of 2 by 3 is this one. This is 2 by 3. Similarly, if I had to represent another number which is not 2 by 3, which is something which is 2, 3.2.34, that is like that. 2. 3, 4. So, this is nothing. It is 2 plus 0 0.34 or I can write 2 plus 0 0.3 plus 0 0.04 or I can say it like this 2 plus 3 by 10 plus 4 by 100. That means 100th part of this. Now, am I able to make it 100 part? Yes. Let us say make it. How we can have, just to represent them, we will have, this is let us say 1, I represent this as 2 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and this is 3. So, first of all, previously what I have did, first of all I have to represent this one. So, 
this one is from this 1 by 3, 1 by, uh, 1 by 10, 2 by 10, 3 by 10. So, so this represents 2.3 and this represents 2.4. Now, since 2.34 is lying between 2.3 and 2.4. So, I had to take this two steps. Now, what I will do? I will just magnify this part only. I will magnify this part only. 2.3 and 2.4. I will just magnify this like this. I will just magnify it like this. See, I am just magnifying it like this. This is 2.3, this is 2.4 and this is a number line. So, this number line, this represent 2.3, this represent 2.4 and here 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, this again represent 1 by 10th part of this. This is 2.3, this represent 2.31, this represent 2.32, 2.33, this represent 2.34. So, this is the part which I want to represent 2.34. So, this is how I can represent them just magnifying it, magnifying it and magnifying it. If I will have to represent 2. I have to represent 2.347. So, what I have to do is 2.347 will be nothing, it will be 2.34, okay, and uh, this will be 2.35, 2.35, and uh, 6, and so on. This will be. So, if I had to represent this one, how can I? Let us say I will do it here, just uh, put 7 here it will be just like this 7, it will be just plus 0 0.007 plus <coughs> this sorry, here now what it will be, it will be the seventh part of the thousand, thousand seventh part. So, and this will lie between, this we have done now. 2.347 will lie between 2.34 and 2.35. Okay, this will lie between this one. So, what I will do? I have 2.34 here. This is 2.34 and this is 2.35. I will again. This is 2.34 and 2.35. I will just magnify them like this. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, this is uh, 2.341, 42, 43, 44, 45. 2.345. This is 2.346, this will be representing 2.347. So, this is how I will represent any number, any real number on the number line. Just elaborately magnify, magnifying and magnifying them and uh, I will uh, uh, conclude to the result of mine. Is it clear? I am sure it is clear to you and uh, anyhow we can represent any irrational number also up to some decimal places. We can uh, easily uh, make it up to 3 or 4 decimal places up to when we have to make it. So, whenever there is a question in uh, in your examination, the question will be up to up to maximum of 3 decimal places because it, it the, the procedure repeats and uh, since the procedure repeats, so once we have been learned with the process, it repeats. So, it is no way of uh, making it so long. 
okay so this is how we can present clear so i think uh, i think you have uh, learned this and i just conclude this session uh, at this stage so we will meet for uh, exercise uh, 3 point uh, uh, exercise 1.4 in the next session okay have a nice time thank you